Is it on? Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> welcome back to Couple Movie Watchers with Anna. And Ryan. And we're going to talk about the movie Godzilla vs. Kong. You don't want to miss it, so stay tuned, everybody. Watch this intro. It's the bomb. Dun, 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 dun. All right, welcome back. We're, we're back in this piece. We're going to talk about Godzilla vs. Kong. Who's the biggest and baddest of them all? For starters, how did you like this movie, Anna? I enjoyed it. It was really cool. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. What, what are some of the things that you like about this movie without giving away any spoilers? The fighting sequence. They're really good, right? Bad, bad. Yeah, the fighting sequence was dope. I feel like... Well, let me ask you this. Is this movie... One, worthy to go risk your life at the movie theaters? Yes. I definitely agree. I feel like this movie is made for the movie theaters. That's why it's doing so well at the box office so far. Mm-hmm. It's just killing it compared to all the other movies that came out. Yeah. Why everybody was scared to release their movies, Warner Brothers dropped them at the movie theaters. So we got to give them credits for releasing them at the movie theaters and also giving you an option to watch it at home. This is a movie... We might actually just go to the movie theater and watch it because I feel like it's that enjoyable as an action film. Don't expect no Oscar-worthy performance from this movie, but it's definitely worth watching at a big screen movie theater. I feel like this movie was made for the big screen to feel the special effects, to feel the their heart pounding, mm-hmm. and uh, can't wait to actually watch it again. I kept um, making noises <laughs> so every time something was happening. For real? She's like, oh yeah, get him. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get him, Kong. Get him. I think this is the most excited I was watching this movie out of all the movies we've seen so far. Yeah, a lot of a lot of movies were just lukewarm or just good, but nothing just really just gets you excited. Gets you. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and we're talking about excited in a good, fun movie way, which movies were made for. And this is definitely one of those movies that gets you excited, gets your heart pounding. It reminds me when I was a kid, especially if you have a kid like maybe like 10, 12. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going to love it. Like, my nephew loves this, love this film. And even, it's definitely worthy of HBO Max. I feel like this was a, a smart move on HBO and AT&T, um, the company, to kind of release this movie on both platforms. And I'm having a ball watching it, uh, watching what they have. Now, mm-hmm. let me ask you this. So, who, who were you who were you gunning for? Kong or Godzilla? Who, what team were you on? I was on, on Kong's side. You were? Yeah, I was yeah. on Kong's side as, as well. I feel like Kong is just made a better character. Yeah. Like the Kong site was just better overall. Godzilla, you know, Godzilla don't talk. You know, <laughs> he don't mean? feel. He don't feel. He don't care. <laughs> he just Godzilla just wants you to know I'm the man. Yeah, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And if anybody try to start any beef, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna put a beat on him. He was so he's the one attacking most of the time. Yeah, well, his whole goal is to let you know I'm the Alpha Omega, Good. and don't you step out of line, <laughs> or I'm gonna kick your butt. If anybody think they the man, I'm going to kick their butt. Mm-hmm. And that's basically what uh, Godzilla does. He just goes around smacking people like, up. The whole time, it's like Kong was doing his thing. And then this guy. <laughs> yeah, well, Godzilla wanted to let people know, like, I am the man. Mm-mm-mm. You know what I mean? That's that's basically Godzilla Mm-mm-mm-mm. forte. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, like, uh, yeah, but I, we're not going to give uh, too much away. But, yeah, it was good. I think it was good. Uh, I, th- I think they did the movie justice as far as, like, if you're a Godzilla fan or a King Kong fan, they didn't make those characters look weak. For the most part, they all was kicking butt. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Each other's butt, but in equal fashion, somewhat without without any spoilers. Now, the only thing that was weak on the Godzilla side was his fan base. I don't even know why they were there. They were had really no purpose at all in the movie. They they were just a waste of the, <laughs> the, the Stranger thing. They just put like some cool kids together and some cool actors to kind of run around and do really nothing. Yeah, uh, pointless characters. Pointless, yeah. We could have cut them out the movie, and the movie would have would have been better. <laughs> But, you know, I guess, you know, Godzilla needed some fans. You know, King Kong couldn't have the only fans. So mm-hmm. Godzilla needed his supporters. So that's why they were there. Some humans. Mm-hmm. They had to add uh, some diversity into the movie and add some humans. You know, just couldn't be about the monsters, huh? Mm-hmm. Dang humans. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was a good movie. What do you think about that girl instead of a woman for Kong? What girl? Or a little girl? You know how he has somebody, he has to have somebody to protect for him to be. Oh, he always has a woman to protect. He don't, he don't be protecting men like that. He always has. He always falls in love with a woman, and this time it's like you a know, little, a girl. little girl. Yeah. Uh, we're not gonna go there. 
it was a nice friendly relationship, okay? We're not gonna talk about that here in this in this channel, okay? We're not gonna go there. <laughs> but I mean, why do you think they went that way? The innocence of the girl who can speak. So mm. she used her hands. I think that made it more more emotional, more I feel like you would connect with him more than I mean Godzilla because yeah. of that. You know, the innocence and you know it shows the intelligence of Kong, mm -hmm. you know, how he's able to, you know, do his thing. So Kong is not an idiot. And you know He's really like when he fights he does like tactic, kinda like figures out what works and you know mm -hmm. he's not just like gonna or you know thanks yeah. yeah he thinks before he acts kind of thing they say monkeys and apes are intelligent creatures so mm -hmm. he, he definitely did this thing there and you know what surprised me a lot this director most of his movies suck from what i've seen so i was very scared when this movie was announced i was like man let me go back and check this direct portfolio he has a list of boo boo movies he did what was that movie Death Note. I love the anime Death Note, but he did Death Note. In oh, the movie? The live action? Yeah, I've never seen it, but everybody I know that's seen it, they said they hated it, right? You seen oh, it? Oh, no. Have you seen it? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it at all. Yeah, if you look at his IMDb, he has a list of flops of just horrible movies. But somehow, he knew the right person or persons, and they gave him this job. He got lucky in that front. So let's look at some of the movies that this director did. He did Death Note, which... I love the anime, like I said before, but everybody hated it, and Anna didn't like it as well. He did the 2016 Blair Witch, which nobody saw. Have you seen it? The what? The Blair Witch. He did the 2016 Blair Witch movie, which Isn't I heard. Isn't that a second movie? It's a live action remake, which I heard sucked as well. Mm. So if you look at his last two movies, you're like, how did he get here? Well, I don't know. But suppose I think he knows one of the producers. I guess his best movie was The Guest, which I heard was decent, uh, which I haven't seen. Uh, I might need to take a look at that. But outside of The Guest, he did have some movie. He did have some segments in the VHS series. He did VHS? He, some of the segments in the, in the VHS segments. Mm. So he so he has some things under his belt. He did the movie You're Next. Have you seen You're Next? I think I've seen that one. That one seemed like it did okay. I think yeah, that one. I think what, what re really got people off on this guy was really the Death Note movie. And as a huge fan of Death Note, I just can't get myself to watch it. Mm -hmm. But you know, maybe it's worth watching. Maybe no, maybe don't watch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're gonna get disappointed if you really enjoyed the Death Note um, anime. Then I think the movie is just gonna kill it for you because it's not worth watching. I ra I rather not even. I should have not watched it at all. That's how bad it was. I'm just saying. So Personally, I don't enjoy. I didn't enjoy that one. So I'm gonna skip Death, no Death Note. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, but this one came out really good yeah so never give up on anybody if anything it shows you if you want a popcorn movie watch it if, if you don't want to go to the movie theaters order hbo mac it's worth the 15 bucks or whatever they're charging for it now yeah let us know or, or uh, have you seen it yet you know are you a kong fan or you a godzilla fan which side are you on and yeah let us know until next time bye 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 like comment and subscribe <laughs> like comment wait like comment and subscribe there you go